Welcome back to another episode of Metal Gear Solid. You're kidding, right? Peace Walker. You got a new mission. This motherfucker ran out of the cell again, dude. I'm firing everybody at this point, you know what I mean? It's like, who's watching this man? Okay, we got four new members that joined the unit. Let me throw those bad boys in places real quick. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh-huh. And some mess hall. Delightful. Oh, shit. We're over the roster limit? Whoa! Mess hall, homies. Crazy. Well, I guess that's going to start happening now. Shit. I don't even have a full team yet. That's crazy. Anyway, let's go get Zadornov again for the 800th time. Escape from other base once again. Find him and bring him back. I heard. Are we going to fire that guy or what, man? I'm being serious. I need to know. I don't know why I came here. No briefing? No briefing. Alright, this time we're in the jungle. God forbid he lays down on a fucking deck again. I got super lucky with that, by the way. Last episode, I genuinely had no idea where he was. That was like a guess. I guess gone right. I guess gone right. There's only so many places to hide. Search every nook and cranny. There's a lot of places to hide, my man. Did he shoot out of his gun, like, to- How the fuck did you even- Whatever. That was crazy, right? I'm not alone in thinking that was crazy, yeah? Alright, so this is a very thin map. It can't be too many places. We just gotta keep our eyes- open. I remember that guy being there. Luckily, I don't think he ever changes out of his orange garb. Or is it orange? His brown jacket garb. Luckily. So theoretically, we should see him like any normal human being when we come across him, right? Alright, this place is a bit more intricate and we're going north. Because we gotta check that place. I thought this leaf was a fucking wolf. Who are you? What the fuck? He reversed it? Who are you taking orders from now? You weirdos. Looking for a dude in a jacket. You seen him? 
They're like, oh, that's all? Yeah, he's over there. He's fucking annoying. He keeps eating all of our goddamn food. Says he's been captured. <laughs> captured. But that was a lovely voice crack. Said he's been captured by some asshole. You should have disposed of him when you had the chance. Thoroughly search every possible hiding spot. We're dealing with a real escape artist here. Well, now, I don't know that I'd call him an artist. Definitely would call him something, though. Like an asshole. Something like an asshole. I'd call, I'd call him an asshole, probably. See, now this is where I would think he's... Well, he's not here, but this guy is. What the fuck? How strange. You think he would have told me any info? If I grabbed him? Probably not. Damn, is he really gonna be like... At the fucking top? Or in these fucking ruins somewhere. I could see that too. Somebody there. Huh. No. Show mama. God damn it, Zadornov. Where are you, you son of a bitch? Where is he, god damn it? Holy shit, this little son of a bitch. I could smell him. Oh, I did. We'll pick you up there. I mean, fuck it. They're already knocked out anyway, yeah? I don't need to hear all that. It was a piece of shit. That's what it was. The fact that there's more than one Zadornov search mission, it infuriates me. 
to a rather extreme degree, I would say. Found our friend, Kaz. Damn it. And I was so close. Not really. Great. You were on a wall. He was on a wall. He wasn't that close. He was lying. I gotta throw these guys into some groups and uh, listen to one of those tapes and then. Yeah. Oh, it was thrown in for hostility. Yeah, no shit. Dude has escaped like 80 times. Holy shit. Hell yeah. All right, all right. And we'll come over here. That's hot cold, man. Look at this, there's more of them now. Incredible. I don't care about any of those though. Cause I just do number eleven repeatedly. Here's a rundown of your mission. I don't care, cause we're not even doing the mission really. I just need to see the briefing. I don't know how else to get to it other than here. Alright, let's listen to session three. The sleep Ooh. That she worked. shocked the boss even more was why the cia's access agent had been taking a large cut of the sleeper's pay the sleeper felt what little he was left with wasn't worth the risk when he got a better offer from moscow he took it at some point the americans intelligence operation had become an open book to the soviets and contrary to what the sleeper had been reporting the soviets manned spaceflight technology was quite advanced Oh shit. They've been going to space. Heavy. After the spacecraft re entered the atmosphere, it ejected the pilot, seat and all, at an altitude of 7,000 meters. It was the Soviet solution to the problem of land recovery. The mystery device attached to Sputnik 5 was for that purpose. Oh my god, and they couldn't figure that out? What do you mean? It makes sense. The Soviets knew exactly how dangerous it was, of course. That's dangerous? That sounds like a good idea to me. Is that my is that just me? I think it worked. before re entry. Only Moscow could come up with this kind of plan. With total state control over information, they could easily pretend it never happened in the event of a failure. The boss passed the info on to NASA. It was their worst. Uh -huh. Everything had just been like shit on by this one dude because he got paid better, I guess. Oh, well, maybe, uh, maybe you should learn how to pay your people. Maybe you should learn how to pay your people who could possibly die. Sure, they should make the most money, right? Like, if you're putting your life on the line to that extent like him where he's like a double agent between russia and america he definitely uh definitely need to pay him some big bucks i wouldn't do it otherwise Oh my god, they shit on her again. Oh yeah, that that did happen, kinda. Well, I mean, I guess it was them not paying him, like I said, but... Or at least not as much as he wanted. 
that would have worked. She told me so later. But she couldn't bring herself to do it. Is that what she was telling her was that one time? It had to do with having her own child. In the third game? She could never inflict the same pain on anyone else. The CIA used that against her. In his election campaign, Kennedy had vowed to close the missile gap with Moscow. If America lost the space race, that promise would be worthless. The fact that the president had no links to the philosophers only made things worse. He was completely unaware of the secret networks she'd used. Oh my god. In his eyes, she was no better than a traitor. The fate that awaited her was cruel beyond belief. Because she just looked like a massive traitor in their eyes. All right, you know what? I'm going to say let's uh, let's listen to uh, session four also because... If we keep doing it this way, I think that we'll be like one behind and we need to, uh, we need to not be one behind, you know what I mean? The order came down from above. The boss would take the official blame for the sleeper's betrayal. More so, she'd serve as the guinea pig for NASA's manned spaceflight program. Oh my god, because of that, they were like, NASA here, now you get to do all these space tests. Oh my god, that's a punishment? That's fucked up. And cool, but fucked up. I mean, I'd love to go into space, but that'd be terrible if it was like right whenever they first started. Oh my god. That's fucked. She soon proved herself right. I have to. I have to go into space. More than just a guinea pig. She I have to take flight. To give the staff focused advice exactly where it was needed. NASA's space program took off again. At the rate they were going, putting a man in space seemed within reach. The higher ups at NASA were impressed with her talents. They took to calling her the eighth astronaut. The Mercury Lady. The photo I sent you was taken around that time. I don't the even... Have I seen the photo? Propaganda, the world's first female astronaut. But then, just as things were looking up, they hit a new snag. Being? The government told them to add a window. There were no windows in NASA spacecraft back then. Ham never saw the stars around him. But Washington insisted... Their sources told them Soviet spaceships had windows. What the Space fuck? What does that matter? Propaganda in itself. And yeah, obviously, if they're complaining about windows, why does that matter? Tell the world what he'd seen. Most of all, though, they simply couldn't have the Russians doing something they couldn't. Oh my god. That's actually absurd. Oh, this is what made her fertile or infertile. She was given less than a twenty percent chance. Oh my God! But she took it in stride, even helping them make the necessary design changes to the Mercury capsule. It was like going to work every day at NASA to make her own coffin. Then, without once again, this is a punishment because she supposedly accidentally got them a connection that was a. Sleeper agent. For the following day, April twelfth. Fucking demoter or fire. Don't fucking make her go into space. That's fucked up. Beyond belief. Snake, I got what the fuck? From the R team. Oh yeah. Converting mother base into a hex plant. Oh cool. That scared the shit out of me. I'm glad I was recording already. Oh. Yeah, that we are. This is how a 
business is supposed to look. At this rate, the sky's the limit. We're just getting started, Snake. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Kaz. That was actually really kind of you. Uh, uh, Snake. Uh, Hi, Millet. Zadorna. Son of a bitch. He's out the again. Left his post and the dude was gone when he got back. Sounds like the guard needs a guard. He was off with the girls. Haas invited him to try some Oh my party. god. He, says he loved every second of it. Is that jealousy? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's a new mission waiting for you. Mine's a doorknob snake. Okay. Oh my god, incredible. Is that jealousy? Uh uh yes. This dude. Snake, the doorknobs disappeared again. Get I heard. Retrieve him. Okay. We're going out to retrieve Zadornov again for the eight billionth time. Fourth. But there's still like two more, so. Alright, man, I'll look around for him. Always make sure you check where you start, man. You'd hate to walk past him. Go to sleep, stupid man. Stop looking for me. So I guess I shouldn't assume that everyone's just looking for me, but I mean, I'm pretty sure he was looking for me. Absolutely not. No one's here. No one's ever been here. Alright, we don't do that around here, right? You're the here, you're not. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Too lazy to take off the helmet. Straight up. That fog keeps rolling in. It's all nice looking. Fulton recovery subject. Com Where the hell's the doorknob go this time? I'm sick of him and his walks. Hey man, it's y'all's job to watch him, alright? I'm out on missions most of the time. Everything that happens at that base is uh, y'all's fault. But I also fucking hate his walks. Take a walk of my own though, obviously. Alright, I don't think he's gonna be here. I think he's either up there to the left or I guess in one of those to the right, but I mean, I, he was, well, I mean, he wasn't in too much of a hiding place last time, but like, I could have damn well missed him. Just saying, dude's pretty good about hiding. Not to mention, it's foggier than hell out here, dude. It's hard to see shit. You fool. Uh, I bet he's on this train, actually, if I had to guess. Here he is. 
We found the enemy. Send back up. Understood. Dispatching reinforcements now. Shit. I don't know what this guy is. I just want to take him. He's got a fancy hat or something on. Fuck. 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 Why did you shoot the gun out of his hand? Apparently the fuck not. This game is an asshole. I'm gonna shoot you in your dick. I told you I'd do it. Get you too. Fuck your reinforcements, dude. That shit was rough, though. I cannot lie to you. You guys are fucking lame, by the way. Did anyone ever tell you that? Alright. Well, like I said, the only place that I would assume that he would be here is, like up here on the train or something or can you crawl under the train by any chance can't crawl in this game forgot about that yeah no so uh, yeah I don't think he's here let's go check this area maybe he's here probably not Oh, we could be. I think so. He'll fall asleep in a second. It's not like someone's taking a shower in here or something. I would say that better have fucking stunned him, dude, because that was a lot. Fuck. Is he here?
I don't think that they can get back here. Was he over there though? I, I fucking swear to God I heard someone breathe. I swear to God. I swear to God. All right, I'm just gonna wait for him to leave because this has gotten sketchy. Is he really just gonna stand here like this? I can't get out this way anyway, can I? No, I cannot. I have to go. Fuck me. Do you know anything at all? Start talking. Start talking. You're getting stunned then. Is he in here? Is he hiding in here? Gotcha. No fucking way. Oh my god. I never would have eat dude, that was such a lucky guess for me. Curses. Holy shit, a cutscene and everything. He hid in one of the houses. He wasn't even outside. Oh my god. I'm getting really lucky by finding this as easily as easily as I am, dude. Oh my god. That's actually kind of incredible. I got him, Kaz. Finally. Lift up again. Acknowledged. Bring him on in. Yeah, acknowledge my ass, Kaz. Acknowledged my ass. This dude's an asshole. We found Volstalk again, so you know what that means? We're listening to another fucking America session tape. I almost forgot to do this before I went and found him again. That's my bad. Why would they do that though? Oh. That's crazy as shit. What if it blinded her? Oh my god. So they're gonna send this shit up and it's already sketchy and then they're like not even gonna actually finish it. That's so terrible. Imagine like being 90% sure you're going to die going into space. And she came right the fuck back out. Oh 
flight coincided almost exactly with Gagarin's. As the sun rose over the horizon, and cosmic rays began to bombard her through the window, she saw the Earth. I think you've heard the story before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. Borders, a perfect jewel. All nations, all ideologies. They seem so far away. <laughs> it almost made her laugh. Knowing that they've risked so much. Why is Eva telling us all this shit again, by the way? This is so weird to me that they chose Eva for that. If she'd seen Vostok from her window, she probably would have waved. But the two spacecraft were destined for very different fates. Gagarin circled the Earth and returned to the Soviet Union, safe and sound. The Mercury capsule, on the other hand, deviated from its planned re-entry angle. Where did it land? The addition of a window had thrown the capsule's aerodynamics off balance. Oh my god. The boss's coffin veered wildly off course and began to plunge earthward. Did they... Oh my god, she's gonna die. I mean, she doesn't die because she came back and I had to beat her up, but... <laughs> 